Hey babe, so I am here with baby Jade and um, I'm gonna put her on her brother's outfit. I just wanna see what she's gonna look like in a little boy outfit. Um, I was working on my video and I was thinking of some things. As I get into the deeper conversations in the video where I am discussing about my hobby, um, there are gonna be some things in there that's gonna probably be, you know, hot spots for some people. Um, and, you know, with everything that I've been through, through on my channel in this community, you would think that I've had enough of the hot topics. And I realized that, you know, every time I get a little stronger and a little bit more braver um, to have a voice and to share my thoughts and my opinions and I share my experiences and it's pretty much if you go back and look through my channel it's pretty much really what my channel was started off of um, and it's pretty much what it's been all about for me um, for YouTubing um, because there's a lot of things that I never brought to camera um, as far as you know names and different experiences that I've had you know as a collector and so therefore people don't really understand why I get on here and I share my experiences with other collectors and as many times as I say well it's because you know I don't want people to make the same mistakes that I made or I want people to have the good experiences that I've had. Um, it's not always that I share negative experiences. I get on here and I rant and I rave and I go on and on about some great artists and even artists that, you know, I feel like have done me wrong. I still give them positive reviews and, um, praises if their work is good I'm not gonna take that away from them no matter how things may have you know ended or how I feel about them personally um, now if there is an issue where I've been almost scammed or like it's been really something very risky then yeah I'm not gonna send nobody to that artist I'm not gonna suggest them I'm not gonna shout their name across my page you know I'm not gonna do that and so people don't like that about me that I I just don't know how to be fake um, I only know how to be me and but at the same time you know like I said a lot of people don't know a lot of the stories that and the things that I've actually experienced um, I've experienced a lot of things. I've experienced, you know, people charging me higher prices because they realize that I have dolls from this person or that person. I've experienced um, people, you know, sending me dolls that's not, you know, fully right, rather. And I'm not talking about the cosmetic things because. You know what people don't understand something that if, if I get something and it's not to my liking like a preference like say for instance the artist uh, did a little bit more Martlin that I don't necessarily care for or they had the position of the baby eyes in a way that I didn't really care for that to me is not a big deal um, to me you know when I have those type of issues, I just sell, resell the doll. I'm not gonna push that back on the artist. I really, I really am not gonna put, push that back on the artist. Um, and I've sold a lot of dolls because of small, silly things. Um, because I felt like it's my choice and it's my money. But I don't feel that I come on and like tear artists apart. I really don't. I think I do more praising artists than anything. Um, I try to tell people where they can find good quality dolls, you know. Um, but 
I'm learning from every experience and even though I'm painting now I'm still a collector first and I know what it feels like to you know put your money in somebody's account and you don't have your baby because I think a lot of artists forget that that we have to trust you with a lot and I had an artist tell me once before that they were taking a risk too and that you know it's a you know they're in the same boat as the collector and I'm like how because you have the money and you have our doll so you really are not in the same position as the collector the collector don't have their money and they don't have the doll it's not like when you walk into Walmart or Target and you buy something and you walk out with it. You are trusting people that you know nothing about other than online presence. You don't even know if it's really them or really their account. Now you got people duplicating accounts and you know stuff like that. You don't know, we don't know who we're dealing with. And we have to trust you with sometimes thousands of dollars. I don't think it's the same. I think the risk is far more greater for the collector and I I don't think that every artist appreciate the collector's money especially when you know you hear them say oh you know it was just a little bit of money well to me, in my opinion, because these are dolls and I don't need them to live, they don't heal me. They don't, you know, I know here, I hear people say that they use them to help with uh, depression and all that great stuff and everything. You know, all oh, that's fine and great. Um, hey, look, say Auntie Perth Patricia. Look at me. <laughs> that's cute. Um, by the way, I will be showing my uh, baby blessing soon. I'm so in love with him. Um, it's just that I'm being selfish with him. Um, but yeah, but yeah, so it, it's risky business. And I remember being a new collector and not knowing where to start and who to go to and who to trust. And I had a few people tell me, you know, give me guidance a little bit. But then I kind of start venturing off on my own and I learned the hard way by, you know, getting babies and, um, you know, I used to do customs a lot and then a lot of times the babies don't come out the way I envision them to come out or they, you know, they come out better than I envision them to come out or, you know, I've just had a lot of different good and bad experiences and there has been times, a lot of times, where something went wrong with the doll and the artist would try to find a way to blame me as the collector or you know they they tend to try to point fingers at the collector but I feel like yeah a lot of these collectors a lot of us do things that we shouldn't be doing with these dolls because at the end of the day they are a piece of art this is a piece of art this is my you know masterpiece of art that Claire Teller created you know with her hands you know it's a handmade piece of art a very expensive piece of art um, I don't think that we should be doing a lot of stuff that we you know as collectors just speaking in general do and it can cause damage and harm I don't think that the artist should be held liable for those things however if you know it's an ongoing problem and it's something that you've been having happen then you need to fix it fix it oh you know you do what you have to do and there is you know a few artists out here that have had some issues because this is art and you know things happen and they're not perfect and but one thing I can say is there are some good artists out here that stands by their work and they will fix their issues and I'll tell you right now and I'll repeat it over and over again that I will deal with those type artists any day knowingly that it's a possibility that I might have an issue 
but I'd rather take that risk with that artist knowing that that artist will back me and take that baby back and fix it for me versus dealing with this random Joe Blow that's gonna be like I am yeah, giving me all that lip or blocking me or whatever or bashing me or calling me out not I rather not deal with that you know I don't you know and I I just you know I stop telling people give recommendations of artists and you know telling people who not to deal with and all that stuff because people would take it the wrong way and I think that me and me being me and being very opinionated has gotten me to where I am today to where which can be a good thing and a bad thing it's gotten me a lot of subscribers a lot of people that trust my word because they know I tell the truth and I don't sugarcoat anything but it's also got me a lot of haters and it's also got me a lot of people that wish I would just shut up and disappear. Um, so, you know, that that is life. And I'm learning how to do better, you know, or do things differently or be me without other people being offended or taking things the wrong way so I'm trying to be a little bit more careful with my words so I'm growing thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment below and click that bell so you can know when I have a new video up see you guys later